Hey everybody, Kurt Davis here with Real Estate Wealth Coaching and today I'm going to show you part two of this completed retail flip. Now it's important, before you watch this video, I'm going to link in the description below part one of this so you can see what the home looked like before we did anything to the house. Stay tuned, don't go away, you're going to get your mind blown. Welcome back. Now, if you stay until the end, you're going to discover exactly what it's going to take to flip homes retail quality, not investor quality, retail quality. That's exactly what we've done in this property. So I'm going to personally take you through this home, show you everything I did. Stay till the end, stay till the end so that you can see exactly what it takes to get this home ready. And let's go. All right, guys. So if you've watched part one of this video, series, you will know that we had to rip out all of this carpet. The carpet was in super bad shape, but we weren't going to leave the carpet in here anyways. So we've come in with brand new laminate hardwood flooring throughout the whole lower level of the property and all the high traffic areas. Now what you have to understand is when you're renovating homes to a retail quality, you have to renovate it with the masses in mind. What I mean by that is, is that I cannot put too much of my own personal flavor on this particular property. I have to pick a lot of very popular but neutral uh, colors and tones and, and materials that go into this property. So the paint color that we used is a, uh, it's called Revere Pewter. It's a very light neutral gray. We paint all the trim. We do all new outlets, light fixtures, flooring. This is a very clean concept that we're looking for because it's going to appeal to most. It's also very neutral. So when prospective buyers come through this property, they can kind of envision their own belongings in here. So we, this is a front sitting room we're in. We're moving into the formal dining area. It's not a huge room, but we have some nice uh, wall accents here. Um, and this little, this little dining area kind of adjoins here with the kitchen. Now in the kitchen, uh, you know, a lot of people always say renovations are kitchens and bathrooms and things like that. So what we have done here in the kitchen is we did all new granite in the kitchen. We did a new dishwasher. We painted all these cabinets, gave them a fresh coat of white, put on new hardware, new faucets, things of that nature. Um, we did not replace the cabinets because they were in great condition. Um, off the kitchen though here, we do have the laundry area. Nothing super exciting. We've got a nice little eating kitchen area here. Um, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to go out in the backyard because I want to show you a few upgrades uh, and repairs that we did in the backyard. All right. So in the backyard here, one of the one of the larger things that we had to do is we obviously had to get the in-ground pool up and running. Uh, thankfully, there wasn't anything major that needed to be done there. But we replaced this whole deck here. This whole deck, it was in really, really bad shape. And this is a huge focal point for the backyard because this is where everybody's gonna put their chairs and hang out on when they're enjoying their time in the pool in the backyard. And we do have a nice uh, uh, backyard patio here area as well. So uh, this was actually pretty expensive just as currently right now lumber prices are high. So uh, check out this deck, it's super solid. Uh, we had to replace it all. All right, so we are here in the main living area, and all this wall that you see here was paneling. It was a dark wood paneling. It was a really nice wood, but uh, I felt that it would have made this living space too dark if I would have left it that way. So uh, we painted it. Again, we have all the flooring here. We have a lot of natural light coming in uh, from the back side of the home. New light fixtures. Uh, I kept the natural brick at the fireplace as is, I wanted to kind of give it that natural look. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll paint the brick and that looks really nice too, but uh, I just felt like this is the proper look for this particular property. So uh, on the main level of this house, we do have the master bedroom and a second bedroom, uh, as well as the master and Jack and Jill bathroom. We're gonna check that out right now. So, you know, it's, it's kind of nice. These these rooms are actually really good size. This is the second bedroom here. It has the nice picture window looking out in front of the house. Uh, we've got the master bedroom, which we'll swing through in a sec. But what I wanted to show you here is the 
the way that this bathroom is actually set up is this is the main hallway bathroom that guests would use. So in here we did all new flooring, toilet, light, mirror. Everything is brand new except for the vanity base, which is in great condition. We did new granite, uh, undermount sink, new hardware, everything in this bathroom. So but what's nice is that Jack and Jill's it opens up here to where the tub shower area is at. You see we continued the flooring throughout. We even used it as our surround for our tub shower area. All new hardware. We went with kind of like the, the, the bronze look. It's a real popular trend right now. Uh, moving on here, we have the continuation of the bathroom here. So it looks exactly like the front part. New toilet, new everything. Uh, left the vanity base here, but super clean, very neutral colors, looks really nice. And then in here we have a large master bedroom, a uh, large walk-in closet. So uh, this is the second bedroom that is on the main level. The other two bedrooms in the bathroom on the second level, which we're going to go up and check it out right now. All right, so the stairs here, we did all new carpet on the second level of the property. So brand new carpet, brand new pad. And the layout, the layout up here on the second level is really kind of ideal for the layout of the home. We have two bedrooms on each side. We have the full bathroom here. What's unique about this bedroom uh, here though is, is there is a door that actually you could say that this is like another master on the second level, uh, but regardless, we've got the two bedrooms and the full bath. Come check this out here. Again, we continued the trend from what was downstairs upstairs. We used the same type of tile, same granite hardware, live fixture, and we completely ripped out this whole bathroom, new tub, new tile surround, everything. So. Uh, we, we didn't really spare too many expenses on this particular project. So we're going to go downstairs right now because I want to talk to you about what I hope you learned from this project. All right, guys, so I've walked you through this whole project and a lot of people ask, why do you do certain things during the renovation? So carpet, people like carpet in the bedroom areas. It's, and also carpet will last longer in bedrooms. We do solid surface flooring in all the high traffic areas because if you did carpet, it'll wear out much faster. Plus, this is the type of flooring people are looking for these days. Granite is very, granite is considered an update in a kitchen from the standard for mica countertops. So it's very neutral. Again, a lot of these things that went into the renovation of this home have a very neutral tone to the look of this property. Uh, I believe we spent around $48,000 on this particular renovation. So to give you the numbers on this property, the home was purchased for $232,000. We put in about $48,000 in renovation. So I don't know, I, I can't do quick math, 285-ish thousand dollars, somewhere is where we're at, all in. We actually secured buyers for this property before we even completed the project and it's already under contract and the projected closing date is coming soon. We sold it at a full market value price of $350,000 and that's going to be a very, very good profit on this particular project. And the buyers that we actually found came from Facebook of all places. So not exactly where I expected to find my end retail buyers, but uh, things are going great on this project and I hope that after watching part one of this video and watching this video that you'll be able to compare and contrast why we did certain things the way we did in terms of what went into the renovation. So if you guys liked this video, make sure to smash that like button, click the subscribe button as well, leave a comment and we will respond to everybody. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you liked the color of the paint, if we should have done different flooring. Let me know what you would have done. I'd love to hear from you guys. So. Stay We'll see you guys in the next video.